Ahoy everyone, it's TR, and this week I am talking about the Burn Bud, the all-in-one smoking accessory. This, I understand, could be attributed to the use of marijuana. It causes errors in time and space. I discovered the Burn Bud because a follower actually tagged me in a Now This Weed video, and I watched the video and knew I immediately had to go get a Burn Bud. Uh, the place I went only had it available in beige, but there's at least black as well. I'm not sure what other colors it comes in because I didn't research very well this week. Um, but anyway, you'll find that they're 20 to $30 depending where you get them and including shipping and all that. Um, and it has a lighter holder, a grinder built in, it has storage, it has a bottle opener, and it has a place for your hemp wick. So it really is supposed to be an all-in-one smoker's companion. So the first thing I want to talk about is the card grinder that's built in. So you're supposed to be able to just pull on this tab, which is much harder to pull on than you'd expect. And then there it is, right there, there's a card grinder. And you can see that there's sort of a groove in there, it's lowered down. So hypothetically, you should be able to grind up your flour and not have it spill everywhere, right? Okay, so now for the reality of it. Uh, no matter how small of a nug you use, when you're grinding, it's going to go everywhere. Uh, this thing doesn't grind unless it's incredibly dry. It's a terrible grinder. Like, I can run my finger across it and it's fine. I was putting real pressure on there and you can see it didn't do anything to my finger. So, uh, this thing's awful for grinding. So, what I actually ended up doing after trying the grinder for so long... I started just taking the grinder out completely and filling it from a different grinder that I decided to start testing around the same time. Now, as you saw, when you remove the card grinder here, there is storage space inside the burn bud. That's the good news. The bad news is you can't pack the flour in at all, otherwise the dispenser that's built in simply won't work. So, at most, you have enough for two one and a quarter size joints. But at that point, you may as well just buy one of these, which holds three or four joints, or just get a dube tube, which you can get for a buck. Because I didn't know how little it actually held, the most exciting thing for me about the burn bud initially was the dispenser. So to get that working, you just pop that over to the side, and the little dispenser tab pops right up. And all you have to do is hold it vertically and push the button over and over, and hypothetically it works just like that. In reality, what I've found is you have to tip it like this, and you have to do that, and then sometimes you have to push down and shake it and hit it a little bit, and then you can keep going like that. Sometimes it'll get a little bit clogged. And also, when you first open it, if there's any flour in there, it will come falling right out. So it's not ideal, but once you sort of get used to it and pick up a couple little tips and tricks, it's actually not that bad at dispensing. The biggest problem is there's so little in there to dispense that, I mean, really, again, I don't understand the point. As you can see, it does have a lighter holder thing built in. It's a mini Bic, which is all you ever see. I'd love to see something that held a full-size Bic, but it's a mini Bic, and it's actually a little far back. It's a little uncomfortable, the positioning of it, but it is what it is. As far as the built-in wick holder goes, the biggest problem is there's nowhere for me to put the end. So it just sort of flops around, and if you put this in your pocket, which they suggest you do, pocket friendly, dishwasher safe, then it's going to get the hemp rope all not sticky, which is exactly what's happened here. And no matter how many times you sort of mash it in, it's still going to eventually just come loose again. Um, as far as holding the hemp wick goes, I mean, this thing's terrible. I've had lighters that have a little uh, magnet that you can put the end through. That way it has somewhere to stay. With this, it there's no feeding mechanism. There's It's just you wrap it around there. I mean, there's a slight divot, but you could just wrap this around anything. I mean, it has a holder the same way anything that could be wrapped is a holder. As far as the bottle opener goes, I'm not much of a drinker, so I called in my friend Mike, who's an expert on these sort of things, to tell me how it works. Mike? I also don't drink. 
Thank you, Mike. Hard-hitting stuff. Now let's talk about the pros and the cons. The first pro is, well, it's a fun little all-in-one dealy. It holds your lighter, it's, you know, got the hemp wick the same way anything else could have hemp wick. And it does have, if you need it in a pinch, a grinder. It's got a bottle opener and it's got that nifty dispenser. So that's all pretty fun. Another pro is honestly the dispenser. Once you figure out the little tricks that you have to do, you can get it working pretty well and pretty quickly. Even with a cone, you can get it filled up pretty fast and you can take this out and use it as a packer for your cone. Another pro is obviously you're never going to lose your lighter because this thing is freaking huge. It's not as pocket friendly as they say, but you know, it's not terrible, I guess. Now let's talk about the cons. Like I've said before, it really is too big for how little flour it actually holds. Also, the card grinder, like I've mentioned a couple times, is just terrible. It's hard to use, it's messy, it's not fun. I've already mentioned this, but the wick holder isn't worth using. Look at that. I mean, it's just, it, there. It was annoying me, sorry. Um, the wick holder isn't even, I mean, why brag about that? That's dumb. Another thing worth noting is this is not smell proof. I can still smell through that. Another con is just how hard it is to remove the grinder because it clicks there and then you have to pull out again. And both steps are kind of hard and putting it back in is a little annoying. So it could be designed better for the grinder in just all areas. The last con is the dispenser doesn't work as well as you'd want it to. You do have to learn those tips and tricks and it does require sometimes really doing that to get enough to come out. And I guess the final con is just, why? It's like a jack of all trades, but apprentice at none. As far as disability friendliness goes, it does put the lighter in a bigger thing. So that makes it easier for people who have dexterity problems, but it's so far back that it's hard to say that that actually makes it more disability friendly. Um, other than that, the disability friendliness, uh, it's also, um, yeah, this really isn't disability friendly at all. Well, that's the end of this week's video. If you have a specific disability that you would like me to test for, let me know in the comments below, or you can email me at weedstuffreview at gmail.com. I'm really digging this new studio. And don't worry, I'm working on a way for the doggies to get a bed so they can still be seen in my videos. I know that's the reason you guys really watch anyway.